so in case if you uh, are not familiar with the relative speed concept or if you still have doubt on uh, a doubt in the solution uh, you, it's, uh, you can refer question uh, 7 question i will just write it down here refer question 7 of 2014 so in the previous video in uh, i have solved this csat paper of 2014 uh, so in that video you can refer the question number 7 uh, which uh, which also uh, deals with this uh, cloak question uh, so uh, in in that video i have explained what relative speed is and how we can use the concept of relative speed in cloak questions in detail so you can refer this video if you have any doubt and still if you have any doubt uh, please comment uh, comment under this video i will try to address it so yeah so solution to question 36 is c now let's move on to the question 37 uh, there are five tasks and five persons task one cannot be assigned to either person one or person two so i'll just mark t1 t2 t3 t4 t5 so this is t1 this is t2 this is t3 t4 t5 so uh, t1 cannot be assigned to 1 and cannot be assigned to 2 uh, task 2 must be assigned to either person 3 or person 4 so this is 3 or 4 uh, now every person is to be assigned one task in how many ways can the assignment be done so this is the question uh, uh, this is a classic case where we could use the permutation and combination and we have some restrictions to permute different kind of combinations in here so we'll do one thing we'll uh, fill in each position like we do for permutation question questions three four five these are the five options so first since we have such a requirement that three and four has to be there in two we'll just fill in the first position on uh, second position first so we have two options to fill so we have two options here uh, and if you see one and two is uh, cannot uh, take up the task uh, t1 so uh, we uh, the options left are three four five and if you see once we assign t2 out of these three options one will be gone so if it is three three will be gone four if four will be gone so effectively after assigning t2 we will have only two option left to fill t1 so we will have two option uh, either 4 or 5 or 3 or 5 we don't know that but yeah two options to fill so once two people are filled now we can fill this position as we want there is no restriction so now out of five people two are gone so there are there is three possibility to fill here two possibility left so once we fill these three people then only two people possibilities then now once we fill four people we have only one possibility left so out of so if you see this is the total possibilities and to get the total number of cases what we do we just multiply these total possibilities so it is one after other so uh, so that is why multiplication comes so answer is 6 3 into uh, 2 into 2 4 4 into 3 12 12 into 2 24 so 24 cases so C is the answer, 24. Uh, so solution to question 37 is C. So in case if you didn't understand how this multiplication comes, you should uh, try to read uh, and get familiar with the concept of permutation. Uh, so there you will understand why there is multiplication here. I'll just explain with a simple example. So let's say we have five people and two chairs. So in the first chair, uh, we we should we sh uh, the question say asks for number of ways you can fill five people uh, uh, make five people sit on uh, each chair and each chair is numbered say one and two so how many possibilities are there so now we have five people so we have five choices to make for the ch chair one so once we make the five choices then we are left with four people and we have four choices to make for chair two so what do you mean by five choices to make for chair one so chair one in chair one we have one two three four or five these possibilities we can make once 
two, three, four, or five sit in chair one. So once we make that choice randomly, now we go for chair two. So in chair two, say we randomly pick pick two. So in chair two, now two is gone. So the options left for chair two, chair two is after two we have four option left one either one or three or four or five so we have four options so uh, we have four options that is how four comes here so if you see for each random choice of chair one we will have four options left if we have cho choose like five here for the chair one then what will be the four options instead of one three four five it will be one two three and four so if if five was made to sit in chair one then the four possibilities are one two three five so for each number in chair one we have four cases so total cases is five into four so five into four that is how multiplication comes here so uh, people who are not familiar with permutation i understand that the whole concept uh, finding total number of possibilities and then multiplying and all becomes too intimidating so don't worry this is a very simple concept uh, if you are not familiar with permutation just go and read what permutation and combination is and how uh, the formulas in permutation and combinations are formed um, and if even after that if you have some doubts or if you need better understanding of some concept just comment under this video and i will try to address it so solution to question 37 is c 24